Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this piano tutorial, we'll be learning the song more than anything. And this song is originally in A flat. And I'll basically go through each of the chords and show you guys different passing chords or, or substitutions that you can use, not only in this song, but any other song that sounds similar or has similar chords to this one, all right? So this song starts off with the intro. so that's the first part of the intro and then it repeats again and basically we are playing up the major scale we start on the seven which is g then we go to the one then the two then the three and then we land on the four and for the seven what we do is play a five chord so and this five chord is a e flat major and something that I like to do when I play chords um, that don't have many extensions is add the second. So the second of E flat is F. And that always tends to work for any type of chord. All right. So. So. Da, da, da. Then we go to the one. We don't have to change um, many of the extensions for this one. We can add the octave. But again, adding that second, because why not? So, then for the two, it's um, a little bit different. We're technically playing a flat seven chord. So we're playing a, a F sharp, but voiced over the two. And something that I like to do is add that major seventh right before the one. So instead of playing it like this, I like adding it right here just to create that that dissonance between these two notes and it gives it that nice chord quality so then we play the three which is basically a one over three again adding that second and then we add, we land on the four which is c sharp major nine and again, I like to do these, um, I guess you can call them grace notes or trills or twangs. I'm just playing B to, I mean B flat, sorry, B flat to B, and then we land on C, so. And for this part of the intro, we can play around with the melody, although... Probably in a live scenario, we wouldn't do it too much just to stay true to the song, but we can experiment while we're practicing. So do something like something like that or you see, you can experiment while you're practicing to basically better your ear with all of these melodic lines. So once again, you see, I switched it up right there. I basically used a passing chord before the four. Again, you can always refer to the, the circle of fourths to figure out what note or what chord comes before the next chord. In this case, before landing on the on the four, which is C sharp, I know that in the circle of fourths, the the one before C sharp would be A flat, or in better terms, C sharp is the fourth of A flat. So I made a passing chord on A flat. In this case, I'm doing a nine thirteen chord, which is A flat, the minor seventh, the third, the sixth, and the ninth. And then we land on that C sharp minor, C sharp major seven or major nine, right? All right. So now we go into the first verse of the song. Um. So we use a passing chord before the one. So I lift. We go on the one. We can either play it like this or play it like this. Then we play that three, and the way I like to voice it is 
first inversion of A flat, then the second, the fifth, and the ninth. I mean, the second, the fifth, and the eighth. Sorry about that. So we can either do this voicing or switch up one note in this chord, this E flat, we switch it to an E, and it gives it a, a different type of sound. Um, I've heard it in different covers. I, I forgot who exactly, but it also works for this chord. So I lift my hands in total So here we do four, but it's not a regular four. We're doing a five over four. So an E flat chord over C sharp with its fifth and octave. So adoration and then we resolve to a C sharp major nine. So adoration to you. And then we do this little um we basically play around with the outlines of a certain chord. So we're we're going to lead into a E flat and we play a A flat in the middle. Then we play a F minor in the middle, and then we land on the E flat to complete the chord or resolve the chord. So, and it's a nice little sound that you can use when you're playing a certain chord. And we're gonna see something similar to this later on, all right? So once again, I lift. Now we go into the six and like always before a minor chord we can choose to use a diminished chord or a diminished seventh chord so before this f minor seven we can do something like a e diminished seventh and again the way that you find which diminished chord to use is basically just go one half step down from your destination chord so one half step down from f which is where we want to get so e and from here we can build out either to the left or to the right or both just by going up or down three half steps and continuing that pattern so and we can experiment with how we voice these chords we can skip something like this we can omit different chords all um as long as we land on the six all right so something like that all right so we land on the six so here i'm basically doing a f minor seven again adding that that two in this case it's referring to the two of a flat and just in case you guys didn't know f minor seven is basically a a flat major over f so i'm adding the two which is technically the 11 of the f minor all right so you live i'm sorry about that you live on the throne. so six three then uh we go into a two major but voiced over the third of that two so d again using that that second just playing two b flats with that second da -da -da -da. here we're playing a C sharp minor six we can keep it simple and just play this but I think I heard Mike Burrill use um, this transition he basically does basically plays a E flat minor and then a C sharp minor so and it sounds nice within that um, minor six course um, da -da -da. And then we go into this part because da, 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 da. we're basically playing one, two, three, four, five in that major scale. 
and we land on the three. And then we play a four, major nine. And then we do this, which is basically, again, playing around with the voicing of a certain chord. We're basically doing a, a F minor to E flat, but it sounds like this. You see? It, it, it makes that melody stand out. So because And then we do the seven, three, six progression. I can say to you. This is the three, so seven, three. And as you can see, we have that diminished type sound within this three. And then we land on the six, which is a minor seven. Then we go into this part of the song, which I think is the most memorable part of the song. And we basically go down the major scale, playing A flat, then an E flat, then an F minor, then an E flat again. But then we switch it up. Instead of going into the four, we go to the, the major two. So A flat, G, F, E flat, D. Then we land on the two. And again, you can experiment with the extensions we, even within these chords that we just finished doing. So something like that. Um, you see, you can experiment with whatever sounds best to you. And something I like to do is basically resolve that two chord then a minor two then a five so that two five one so and again we do that um inner type voicing um I, I don't know the the technical term but it sounds like this and you hear that within many gospel songs so it's something good to learn that we actually did before in this um in this chord in e flat but we're doing it once again but for a flat so we do it e flat or g and e flat f and c sharp C sharp and B flat and then E flat and C all right and then this verse repeats itself and right before repeats we can use a bridge or a passing chord over this five so before the one we play this five and we can either arpeggiate it so then we go back into And then we going, we start going into the chorus of the song. And before the chorus, which is which starts on the four, we have to play. I mean, we don't have to, but it's nice to play a passing chord. And the one that, that I like to use is this one. It's basically an altered chord that serves as a as a passing chord before the four, so on, based off of the one. Either this, or you can do a sus chord like this. Or 
something like this like this right different types of options that you can use or or even this and then we land on the four so i love you jesus so four i love basically a major nine you jesus um minor nine eleventh again i like to cluster these notes just to give it that that different color then a seven i worship and minor five one then a four so i love you jesus i worship and adore you just want to tell you again different passing chords i went from the four i know that the next chord would be a a six so i included a three which is the four the the fifth of the destination chord so the fifth of f minor is c so i included it as a passing chord before this f minor so i did a just want to tell you and the voicing again altered an altered chord so either a sharp or flat fifth or ninth so just want to tell you lord i love again experimenting with that circle of fifths i did this chord it probably doesn't make sense within this context but it tends to work out so just want to tell you lord i love you more than anything again we did that seven one two three four lord i love you more than That's something that I like to do when I'm basically um, spending a, a longer amount of time on that four. If I'm on a four for a while, I can play around with the one. And the way that I voice this one is basically a major ninth. So a E flat over A flat. So. Playing around with that one. Then we're back on that four. So. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to love you. so you got you got the gist of it now there's even a part there's an, another part to the song that most people tend to skip but let's go through it so it goes So let, let's start off with that beginning part. So it starts on a on a five. We basically do a four, five, one. Or six, seven, one. Six, seven, one, then a major two. Or passing chord before the five. Da, 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 da. Then we do a five one four. Da, 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 da. So really slow. I basically do. I do a F sharp, A flat, 
then an F sharp major seventh over an E flat minor ninth. So then we're back on that A flat, and then on that passing chord on the one, and then we land on that four major ninth. Then we go into a seven. Then the one, I mean the three, or again a diminished chord before the six. Then the six, then the major two, and right again we go back into that melodic line. Before ending this tutorial, just want to show you that part right there. Um, it's a it's a different type of chord that you can use before the six. So, I love you, Jesus. Here we're playing basically a F sharp with the minor seventh, and then the right hand is just playing an A flat again with that second. I love you, Jesus, and then a. F minor ninth, and then we continue from there. I worship and adore you. Right, so right now, what I'm gonna do is basically play through the whole song, sort of improvise, so um, forgive all of the mistakes that I make. And basically, if something new comes up, you can pause the video and learn that type of chord, all right? 